Hello everyone, my name is Nikki, and if you're a regular viewer of the TVI channel, you will know me as Mrs. TVI. I don't have a car, but I do have a GoPro and an interest in history, architecture, but more specifically, cemeteries. It's time to see where I am and what I'm getting up to in my corner of the TVI channel today. Morning everybody, Mrs. TVI here. It is uh let's say 7th of january and it's cold and it's wet and i am in a church in uh, great longton longstone. longstone i think longstone. My, my brain's not working yeah, this morning longstone. anyway this is the church of saint giles and the church's churchyard so we're going to have a wander around and see what we can find now we've already tried the church and the church is unfortunately locked but it's not surprising because it's still very early so I've got Hannah with me, who doesn't want to be on camera. Um, so I'm just going to take a walk around and see what we can find. So, yeah, nice weather for ducks. It is raining, and as you can see, there, 20 to 9 in the morning. So, just at the top of the uh, church itself, and we've got a path that goes around a little way here that just leads to a door by the look of it. But we might be able to get around the back end of the church. We've got lots of very old stuff here, very old graves, virtually unreadable. So, let's have a look. Can you read anything on that one, Hannah? John Dick. John Bacon of Bakewell and Hannah says I like bacon so 1886 this one that gentleman passed away and then Herbert if we can get a bit closer Herbert the son of John and Anne who died in 1868 aged just two Walter James also died in 1870 aged just two Ashley, their daughter who aged 28, and also of the above Anne Bacon who passed away in 1898, aged 69. So that's a huge stone there with a lot of family members on it for the Bacon family. Uh, let's go around the back and see if we can get round. Can we? Mm, not sure if I'd want to walk around there because that looks like graves sort of here. I don't, if I step on there, I'm going to be stepping on graves and I don't like to do that, so let's go back the other way. I have to say this is a well-kept churchyard. It's neat and tidy and grass is, is cut and edged. It's lovely to see. Entered this churchyard via, there's a permissive footpath, which is just there coming up from the village. But we're going to walk through and then at the other side of the church there is another cemetery so first of all i can see this big cross shaft here i'm going to have a look because there's a plaque on that let's see what it says i feel like i'm walking like and jumbled up like the michelin man this morning right so it says ADMDCCCXCV11 this ancient churchyard cross was restored in loving memory of Charles Lewis Cornish, Cornish, priest, vicar of this parish. And there's some more Roman tombs at the bottom, I'm not going to read those out. So there we go. Hannah is asking if there'll be any war graves. I, the answer to that, my dear, is I don't know. So let's go and have a look. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Hannah's just trying pointing out some interesting graves for me. She knows I like to look at the interesting ones. Let's have a look around up here at the other side of the church. So just around the rear of the church in the churchyard here we've got lots of older graves and it's still relatively well kept um, although these graves you, you can't read. Um, 
they're, they're very degraded so these must be some of the oldest ones that are in this, this churchyard and then obviously we've got some maintenance that's been happening here as well but look you've got a lovely view of the countryside from here it's just a pity it's not a nice to brighter day unfortunately but it is what it is and that's what happens when we are filming in the winter we've got a collection of tombs here so there are like four and they're all a fairly decent size some of them as you can see like from this one the name plates have just completely come off but i don't think that they're all the same family because this one here you've got the robinsons so it's not easy to to sort of pass through this what we got here what's the name on it hannah so that's the robert needham and this is another needham so perhaps these tombs are the needham's family and then we've got another tomb here which is the or and gregory's so Mary Orr in this one, daughter of Francis and Hannah who died September 1880, September 2nd 1880 to be precise. And then you've got James Gregory who passed away in 1835, age 72. And it looks as though that these would have had some kind of a metal fence around them because there's bits of bits of metal sticking up in sort of random places and of course there's this edging on it so there would have been some uh, oh. some sort of a frame that's been taken away but just look at that some gorgeous bits of carving on these so yeah let's carry on okay so just turn it round so you can see me look it's absolutely bucketing down. I've got this uh, my big coat. Right, um, I am in the lit gate for the church. Let's just show you that. There we are. I do apologise if there's spots of rain. Hold on a minute. Spots of rain on the camera. But there's the church. Um, there's actually a stone that's in in this wall just about here a headstone and it's for somebody called Martha but that's literally all I can see is just the name Martha but we're going to go but we're going to go and have a look in the other cemetery hey no no in the side of the wall there honey you missed what I said there's another cemetery over the road and another lit gate so we're going to duck through the rain and go into this one and take a look Okay, so we're definitely in the more modern section of the cemetery here. This has obviously clearly been opened after, uh, you know, as an overspill for the churchyard. So let's just take a quick look at some of the graves in here. Look at this one, still receiving a Christmas wreath. In loving memory of Alice, beloved wife of Samuel Johnson, who died in 1919, December 10th, 1919, age 63. And also the above name Samuel, who died January 23rd, 1940, age 88. And Sarah, who died, Sarah Ann Oliver that is, who died April 4th, 1952, age 93. And now to get to age 93 in the 50s was quite good. So, let's have a look. Oh, we've got a... MBE, a grave of somebody with an MBE. Let's just come up and have a look at this one. Oh, no, I'm not going to go any further because that is a relatively recent burial. But her name was Mary and she's a local, obviously, of this parish and she'd been a recipient of an MBE. What else have we got up here? So again we've got like old and new mixed in together I thought that though, that grave was a little bit older than what it was but it turns out that the person in third only passed away a few years ago 
Right. So again, we've got this one sort of laid out in rows with, you know, fairly decent pathways. And it's, again, it's not in in the, the cemetery itself is is kept fairly well, although we have got one or two graves that are sort of sinking a little bit. Well, let's go see if I can find anything else that's interesting in here. So here we have an absolutely massive plot. I would say this is at least six or eight grave spaces and it's for Stevenson's and Kenyon Stevenson's and the dates of death range from the early 20th century 1903 I can see on there up until 2000 so this must be like a big local family I would have thought So just as we walk down, a lot of these are very recent now and as you know my policy is nothing in sort of more recent times. Um, so there's a lot of, of graves in it and it's definitely one that's worth coming and having a wander. Um, we've got a lot like we said of old and new that's mixed. We've got some big family areas. There's a large cremation of the garden that the, where Hannah is now there's a wall oh sorry the rain there's a wall that runs literally down there and it's all a cremation garden in front we've not found a commonwealth war grave as of yet but Hannah's excited about something so what have you found Hannah one's looking at me oh she found a farmyard <laughs> So, but yeah, let's uh, let's come back into the lit gate. So, uh, a little bit drier, I think. Oh dear! There are memorials here as well on the lit gate. It's like potentially a war memorial. 1917, 1918. So. Yeah, potentially they're a war memorial. Right, I'm, I'm not going to sort of make this a long drawn out video because it's cold and it's wet. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Andy will, in his video, pick up anything that I have possibly missed. But yeah, that's all from St. Giles's Church and Cemetery in Great Longstone. And I'm sure you might be able to hear the cows mooing away in the background. <laughs> And I'm, thank God, this is a nylon coat and literally the water is just, you know, like it does have an umbrella, it's just falling off it. I'm soaked already. <laughs> right, I'm going to go find TVI and uh, we will see you on the next Mrs. TVI episode. So until then, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.